For decades, the world's richest nations were built on oil. Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait. They became empires because they controlled energy. But the world is changing. A new kind of gold is rising, one that doesn't pollute the skies or run out with time. And India, the land that basks in sunlight almost all year round, is betting $300 billion to turn sunlight into its greatest source of wealth. This isn't just about clean energy, it's about turning India into a global energy superpower, one that could earn more from renewable power than the oil-rich Gulf nations ever did. Can sunlight really make India richer than oil? That's the story we are about to explore. India's energy demand is soaring faster than almost anywhere else on Earth. Millions of households, factories and industries are turning on lights, machines and screens every day. Every year, demand grows by more than 5%. Today, coal still powers most of the nation and oil imports drain billions of dollars from the economy. But India has a vision to produce 500 gigawatts of non-fossil energy by 2030. Solar, wind, hydro and nuclear combined. Achieving this will require roughly $300 billion in investment, a staggering sum, but one that could redefine the nation's economy, generate millions of jobs, and make India energy independent for the first time in its history. This is more than an energy project. It's a revolution in wealth and power. Where will this $300 billion go? Across India, Vast stretches of desert land are being transformed into enormous solar farms, glimmering under the sun. Factories are rising to manufacture solar panels, batteries and inverters, all made in India. Transmission lines are being upgraded and advanced energy storage systems are being deployed so power is available day and night. India has already crossed 90 gigawatts of installed solar capacity, one of the largest in the world. But now the focus isn't just on installing panels, it's on manufacturing, exporting, and creating a self-sustaining energy ecosystem. Every solar panel installed reduces imports, creates jobs, and strengthens the economy. This is not spending, this is multiplying wealth at a national scale. How could this make India richer than Gulf nations? For decades, countries like Saudi Arabia and the UAE thrived on oil exports, Oil was their currency, their power, their influence. But the world is shifting. Solar power is now cheaper than coal and oil in many regions, and nations are moving towards renewable energy at an unprecedented pace. The Gulf's oil dominance is slowly fading, while India has an opportunity to lead the clean energy revolution. With abundant sunny land, a young population, and a massive domestic market, India can become a global hub for solar modules batteries, and green hydrogen technology. The energy of the future is not black, viscous and finite. It is clean, abundant and limitless. Gulf nations earned wealth from oil. India can earn wealth from the sun. The effects of this transformation are enormous. Millions of new jobs will emerge. From engineers designing solar farms to workers assembling panels, maintaining turbines and managing energy storage. Rural areas, once forgotten, could become energy hubs, attracting infrastructure and growth. Dependence on imported oil will decrease sharply, saving billions of dollars in foreign exchange. And the environmental benefits are equally profound. Cleaner air, lower carbon emissions, and a sustainable future for millions of citizens. This $300 billion is not an expense. It's an investment that pays back across every sector, economic, social, and environmental. Of course, there are challenges. Land acquisition is a hurdle, particularly in densely populated regions. Integrating renewable energy into India's vast power grid requires smart planning, storage, and transmission upgrades. Battery technology must evolve to store power efficiently for nights and monsoons. India also faces international competition. China dominates solar manufacturing. And global investors need confidence in India's policies and execution. Yet, if these challenges are met with vision, coordination and execution, India could transform itself into a global energy powerhouse. 
This solar project isn't just about replacing coal with sunlight. It's about rewriting India's economic story. A nation that once depended on oil imports could soon be exporting clean energy solutions. A country that struggled with power shortages could soon generate surplus energy to fuel industries, technology and exports. In the next decade, India could become the clean energy capital of the world, where sunlight becomes a national currency of wealth, influence and sustainability. If this vision succeeds, India won't just match the Gulf nations, it could surpass them, richer not in oil, but in innovation, clean energy and energy independence. As the world moves away from fossil fuels and towards renewable energy, India stands at the centre of a historic revolution. The $300 billion solar investment could secure energy independence, create millions of jobs and establish India as a global leader in the clean energy era. The Gulf nations grew rich selling the energy of the past. India has the chance to grow richer selling the energy of the future. And that future has already begun to shine.